So to mount the sight on HT60, you are going to need a single piece rail. Pick a tinier weaver, it should it'll fit both. And that's the reason why. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drop this on there and then we, we'll mount that loosely just to get our relief set up. Be the back one but look at things. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put two in. It does come with um, Ellen keys to do this. I've just lost the little bag that had them in. Uses a three millimeter Ellen key. I'm just going to put two in. I'm just going to firm them down, but I'm not going to wrench them up. Do that again. setting up your off leaf. So what you want to do is just bring the off bring your off up to your shoulder, close your eyes, bring it up, put your cheek cheek rest there, and then open your eyes and you should be able to look straight down the straight down the um, scope. So we'll pair it up. And there we go. And that was spot on for me so um what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn the unit off, dismount it, and I'm going to put the other two screws in. And now I'm going to just nip these all up. We just want to tighten up these two main mounting bolts there. I don't want to wrench them on, we're not trying to break the thing. Just to just turn them up until they stop. And just like that, that's how you install it. Next up, sliding in. What I want to do first is I want to take the lens cover off. And then I'll set it up for, I'll come back in a second. Important thing to note, the eye cup on it is not removable. If you try to remove that, you're going to tear it and you're going to have to either get creative and tape it back on or um, order a new one. But it's basically, it's clamped into place so it doesn't come off. This what, these two here. That one, that one will cycle up and down through the menu, and this one selects. So when I, um, when I refer to the top one, there's this button, IR button, laser or menu button, and then that one activates the picture in picture. So, long hold on this one, access the menu. So, pull the phone and the screen's a bit bright. So, what we're going to do is going to go to the, onto the top of the unit. You'll see the, um, of the four buttons up the top, the bottom one that activates the laser also says menu. Long hold on this one, access the menu, brings up the menu. 
And what we want to do is we want to just use the left button saying oh, that says IR, and that will allow us to scroll down. We're going to go to OLED brightness, top button, and then it's the IR button and the picture and picture button. So picture and picture button will cycle it up one. Let's get rid of that one. There we go. That's better. And then just quick press on the laser button will exit the menu. And if you find your um, background scene or your targets obliterated, so it's being flared out, uh, like that for example. What you do, long hold on the laser button, bring up the menu, and you cycle down to the second page, and EV compensate, so there's exposure correction. So it's plus two, that's why, because it's still set up for night time. So we'll go to negative two. That should get actually done it. Now, there we go, now we can see it, sliding in. So, assuming that we'd fired a shot already, long hold, crosshairs adjust, so use the, the IR button on the left will cycle down, picture and picture button on the right will cycle up, and then top button is select. Okay, so on the bottom of the screen we've got our, um, got our option, and profile select. So we want A. So x times zero, what we're going to do is going to, so it's very cool style, color, and save. So those are our options, so profile A, and what this has actually done is it's done a picture in picture capture, because I'm actually moving the rifle around right now. So it does have a picture-in-picture -picture capability, it just doesn't advertise it. Okay, so we want that one. So we're going to press the top button. Cycle to um, YX. So. Like so. And then, style. No, we're happy with the style. Color, we're happy with the color. And then save. So. When you go save, what you need to do is you need to press the IR button to make it say yes. Then you press the top front button to confirm it. And then so it says yes. And then we do a short press on the menu button. And that saved our coordinates. When you do this, you fire fire a three shot group because that's going to form that's going to form a triangle with the bullet impacts, and then you adjust to the center of that triangle. If you're trying to chase one bullet, you're going to be there all day because um, it does have a laser, which I found um, a bit pointless because uh, laser everything's going to see. So open, we'll close. So we're going to open that. And it's picture in picture room display at the top. Okay, crosses are just gyro. So this is for um, resetting the gyro, so um, go into that. Just press down and just when you do this, um, leave the rifle, leave the firearm stationary, or the scope stationary. It's gonna take about a couple of seconds and then it'll zero out all the gyros. There we go. So now everything's zeroed out. Power on default zoom. So what this does is it lets it lets you um select what power magnification power it is when you turn the unit on. So when you first power it up, it you can choose if it's um on the base um six point five times, or if it's on the um on the thirteen times magnification on on power up. So um, I'm just going to leave it on six point five because that's what I want. And power on color. So this black and white is your night mode. So colorful is day mode, and black and white is night mode. So depending on what when you're going to be using it, you can select power up in night mode or power up in day mode. So 
I'm just going to leave that in day mode. And select. Default IR illumination. So this is basically for the IR, this is the IR torch when you are in um, white mode. So the, um, when you first turn it on, well, when you first go into um, uh, night mode, default's going to be off. But you can have it so it powered up with the with either any one of its three power settings. So you can have it on setting one, two, or three. And you can also this will also work for if you um when it's in night mode if you press the um, IR button and to turn the torch on this will also be the uh, the setting the power make the power setting for the IR when it turns on. So I'm just going to leave that closed. Gauge distant unit, metric or imperial, pretty simple. Page two, auto record. So this is basically your um, uh, auto record is your um, uh, basically your um, record on firing. So it'll just record in a continuous loop, and then it will just save the ten or fifteen second um, window that you've um, told it to. Or you can just press the, um, or you can just um, hold the um, record button on the top and do it manually, which is what I like to do. Cycle record. Basically, it's going to it's going to save in um, uh, three, three, five, or ten minute um, blocks. So if you're recording a long video, it's just going to save it in a three minute block, then a three minute block, then a three minute block, then a three minute block, or a five minute block, or a ten minute block. Timestamp. This will basically put um, your time and date, um, that's time and date onto the um, onto the videos that you or pictures that you record. Record audio. So this will mean that the rec unit records audio, or it's not record. It's um, muted, so you won't hear anything if on the videos. Wi-Fi. So you turn that on if you're connecting it to the um, uh, the DC DCAM uh, app on on the phone, which you download off the Google Play Store. You just search um, Cytong and it shows up. EV compensate uh, we covered that earlier. Date and time. So you can set that up to um, whatever you want. Um, and clearly, that's not the right date. So I'll change that. Seventh now. And then uh, what day is it? Oh no, oh, it's first. month here that's what I want and then you press the just press the uh, menu or laser button once to um, reverse out of that language uh, I think I'll stay with English I think format so this will allow you to format the SD card and default setting that will that will um, Basically, re reset the unit to um, factory um, defaults. So any um, any of your zero profiles or um, any adjustments that you made to it will be deleted when you do that. And then we've got the version. So version one point oh three five. Okay. And that's it. Right.
useful tips. So inside here we've got our SD our, um, access port, so got our uh, SD card, USB Type C charging, and we've got the um, HDMI outlet. Little cap there does have an O ring in it, so I've greased that with a bit of Vaseline, so um, that has a handy that helps because it'll um, not only help them keep the O-ring sealed and that, but it also makes it quite quiet to um, smooth and quiet to close. I've also done the same thing to the battery cap. Battery cap. I've greased that up too. Because when you get these, you'll notice that this is very coarse feeling and it's quite noisy. It makes a lot of scraping noises. So you put a bit of grease on it and then you don't get that problem. Okay, and batteries. You can get batteries for these from JCar. This will out. Well, this is one from JCar anyway. So it's that 18650 short. So there's another 18650 which is about this much longer. Just to make things annoying. This one's 2500 um, milliamps, hence the um, 25R um, designation on and I think I need to charge that one up actually, when I think about it. That's not much of an issue because I've got spares. So these white ones here are the original ones that it comes with. Not terribly descriptive about what they are. And the instruction manual is not particularly descriptive about it either. It just says um, 18650 uh, flat. So it took a, bit of, took a couple of goes to get the right ones, so those, that's what they are. Okay. So we're going to power that up. So it comes on very quickly. Long hold on the IR mode. That click is it powering up the night system. And... So they're not in colour anymore, it's um, gone to um, grayscale, and that's night mode. Top right corner. You can turn your illumination on, so um, that's off. One, two, three, and off. And lastly, the IR um, torch has a zoom on it. So right now this is on flood, and you can just pull it forward, and that will give you spot. You can twist it if you want, but it doesn't. It's not threaded, so it doesn't matter. Matter. This is your focus. So rotate that backwards or forwards as you as you need it to. I found it very coarse threads. So, um, when you're doing that, you're going to be barely moving it in order to get the focus that you want. And the rear one's much the same. So you set this one up so that you get a nice crisp image at the back. And uh, you can read all the numbers in the menu. So um, I found the easiest way to do that is um, bring the menu up and then you focus it so that the, the letters are um, easy to read. It's the easiest way to do it, I found. And the IR torch on this is an 850 wavelength. So um, if you're going after deer, they can see it and they will react to it. So, um, uh, depending how they react depends entirely on what their experience is. If they haven't experienced it before, they're going to look at it. And that can give you an um, opportunity to shoot them. Um, otherwise, um, if they've encountered it before, they're going to see it and then they're just going to run. So to get, one way to get around that is you can mount a 950 IR illuminator on here. And then you don't need to use that one. The advantage you've got there is that it's not going to drain the battery out of this either. So this, I've found that if you've got everything running, if you're recording... If you've got the um, IR torch on it, that battery is going to last about two hours and then it's done. In which case you can either plug it into a um, power bank or you can just swap the batteries out. No big deal. Just keep an eye on the battery. Uh, just keep an eye on the battery gauge on the bottom right. 